This is my homemade wood gas stove. Uh, I've tested it out, it seems to work pretty well. Um, it's made up of three parts. You've got the inner can here with holes on the bottom and top, and then the outer can here. Uh, this is a one quart paint can, and this is just a progressive soup can uh, that I drilled some holes into. And the way this works is this, this can here will uh, sort of clip into the, the rim here. I can't really do it one-handed, but it, it really clips in there. It won't go anywhere. Um, and what happens is you put the wood in there, and it actually burns from top down, and the smoke will um, be pulled through the holes at the bottom, go up between the space between the two cans, back out the holes at the top, and reignite, and you'll get like a burner effect at the top. Uh, I guess that burns the wood more efficiently, get less smoke, and just works works quite well. And then I've just got a little pot holder that I made from a large tuna can. Uh, pretty simple, just goes in the top there, and that's all there is. And then storing this, just take this, put it there, and then ah, it all fits inside my one liter truck kettle pretty perfectly. And then um, I'll have room for a little homemade alcohol stove as backup and a little bit of fuel in there. So really, I'm very happy with how this turned out. And I'll show you a burn test, a boil test in just a moment. It's between 25 and 30 degrees out right now. And I'm gonna test this little wood stove and see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. Uh, I'm gonna time from when I light the stove to when I put the pot on and from when I put the pot on until I get a good boil. So I'm just going to light it and I'll get Alright, this is about uh, three minutes after lighting it. It's uh, burning a lot higher than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to give this a minute to, to burn down a little bit uh, before putting the pot on. But hopefully you can see, it might be too bright, but a lot of that flame is coming out of the holes, not from the wood. Um, the holes in the inner can where the smoke goes through. Yeah, actually, maybe you can see it from up above. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna put the pot on. It's uh, now 326, and I'm gonna see how long it takes to boil. Uh, and I'll, I'm gonna wanna see if I have to add any wood to this to get it up to a boil, or if it'll just uh, boil from the initial amount of wood I put in. Alright, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so we're at just over 11 minutes since I started the fire. Um, so that's uh, 8 minutes from when I put the, um, put the pot on. And it is boiling very... Well, I don't know if you can see that, it's too dark, but it is boiling madly. So I'm going to take this off. I did have to add a fair amount of, well, just little twigs and stuff, but it, um, it did quite a good job. Could be quicker, I feel, um, but I'm happy with it, and I think with uh, more trial and error, how to build the fire, I can get a little bit quicker, and when it's warmer, it'll be a little bit quicker, but I'm... Uh,